Adam here with WholesaleSepticSupply.com. Today we're going to talk about the rotary vane pump and particularly the GAST 2-3 series of rotary vane pumps. Um, the 2-3 series pumps has the AT05, the 0523, the uh, 8023, and the uh, 1023 and the 1423. All those pumps are dry running. They don't require any lubrication. And then they accomplish that with this vein right here that spins in there and it self lubricates. How it does that is it, as it's spinning, it lays down a film here on the counter face and then it, uh, um, <clears throat> it wears against its own material. And that helps it last a very long time. These pumps, it's not uncommon for them to go seven, to 10 years, no rebuilding. They last a very long time. I've seen some 0523s be out there for 13 years. They're still running, no rebuilds. People just clean the filters and maintain them and they're still going. Does that happen to all of them? No, that's a exception, not the rule. One of the weaknesses is the bearings in them. They will go out and once the bearings go out, you're, you're, they're pretty much done. The linear pumps will last um, a good while. You generally have to rebuild those every three to four years. Uh, you'll get 10 years of life out of them. They're not a bad pump. This pump here is just more durable as far as longevity purposes. Uh, it lasts longer. Uh, they're, you know, 33 pounds. It's more of an industrial grade type pump. So they're not affected by back pressure like a linear is. They'll overcome it. They blow a higher PSI. Uh, you can use these on multiple different models of tanks. You know, you can use this on a 500 to up to a uh, 750 gallon a day, all the way to th actually a thousand gallon per day on a, on a niatic system. So you don't have to switch different pumps and use a bigger pump because these kind of do all of it. Uh, they're a good option when you have a high below 120, and that's an expensive pump. You could almost go with a rotary vein, you're going to get a much longer life out of it and it's going to be a better option for you than replacing it with another high blow which just isn't going to last as long. Uh, you're going to have to rebuild it more often. So you might get the same life but the cost overall is going to be more because you'll have to rebuild it more often. The pump spins and it sucks in air here. It pushes it out here. Um, it rotates. So that's why it's called a rotary vein. It spins. They're a little louder than a linear. Um, they, uh, they're not loud when nothing's hooked up to them. They're pretty quiet. The veins make a lot of noise is one of the issues. Uh, on these pumps, they enclose them so they are quieter. You can't hear them in the house. We have one right outside the kitchen window in the office. You can't hear it out there. Uh, you, you can hear it when you walk outside and it's right there. You can hear it a little bit. It's a, you get used to it. It's just a white noise, basically. So that's a rotor that's inside. You can repress the bearings, but it is a very long and detailed task, and you really risk the, run the risk of breaking something when you do it in the motor part, and then it's all for naught. So generally when the bearings go out, it's time to get a new one. Uh, if the veins break, you can replace them. Kits are $65, so they're very inexpensive to rebuild. Uh, you can rebuild them multiple times, so they're, they're a very good pump. If you guys have any questions, you can comment on here. I'll be happy to answer them. And uh, that's pretty much it. I uh, hope you guys have a great day.